Oh, we got him dispatch taken care of. I'm actually gonna go get a weight on him. That's a pretty good sized wolf. Oh. That felt, felt pretty good. First check. Actually got it on video getting caught. So hopefully you guys will like that. Um, using the new pickup. People might say, you'd use a brand new truck for trapping? I wouldn't buy something I couldn't use for trapping. I used to use a car, a trap wagon, <laughs> Subaru. That's the first new pickup I've ever owned and I'm loving it. Um, it's expensive, but I needed something reliable to get out here and help these ranchers. So the FX off-road with the first wolf on the tailgate. We'll go get a weight on him, get him skinned. Oh, I was sent a video this morning on a ranch I like to help out on. I'll plug that in right here. Um, down here to where uh, you got sent those pictures found tracks where they should be oh they've been crossing up through this mud up here One small one with them. Two pretty good sized tracks there. So, probably gonna grab my gear and walk in. I don't know if I'll take the bike in or if I'll just walk in. So, I'll look at this snow the road here. Anyway, I'll get up in here. I'm gonna be quiet. I don't know how, but I need to be able to film this if I can. How this snow ain't bad. Let's see where they crossed here, though. I might have just crossed the road back there. Oh, there's a track here. It's not as clear as that other one. The other tracks must have just crossed the road. Piece of logging equipment over here. There's a big meadow down back towards my truck, up behind it, and I'll probably get set up and be quiet for a while and see if I can get an answer. So then they come through this morning, but they could be a long ways away already. Uh, it's been over 12 hours ago already by the time I could get down here, but it is what it is. Wolves this time of year, they normally don't travel. If they're a breeding pair, they're not traveling too far, so those tracks coming just like this. They should have crossed right up through there. There's a creek here behind me. Oh. 
We drive on up the road a little ways, see what we can see for sign. I'll prep him back down here in this meadow, get set up. Oh, got the e bike loaded up so I can slip up in there quiet. I'm liking this new pickup. I don't like the price tag, but I'm liking the new pickup. Okay, we'll go back down here to that meadow and get quiet for a while. And see if we can get something to answer us. Got some more tracks I'm going both ways on the road right here. These ones here are pretty dang fresh. They're not all that ra rained out. That one's older. Yeah, this one came down the road not that long ago. different spot I couldn't get anything to answer me couldn't get anything to answer me down where I was at so I came over here on another side to see if the tracks were doing and you can see them going clear down the road there Up the side Let's see if I can get something to answer me yet tonight now I'm finding uh, what I came here to look for so, uh, still up here on this ranch. I'll flip you around and show you here. Oh. You guys see that? That's a pretty good sized track there. There's the other track right over there. I'll put the light on it, it kind of washes them out, but. come right down this road so there's a big old uh, reservoir on their side and it's this big open field here they're coming down off this reservoir it dries out just a little bit more I can set some traps Let's see that's what I'm down here doing just kind of scouting get this problem taken care of for him oh. it's good it's good and find find where they're running you gotta do your scouting see if we can get a couple wolves before i gotta head to arizona well we drove around looked for sign called all night Never got a response, but I did find some did find some tracks, so I think uh I'll probably scout around a little bit in the daylight some more and um go back, get some traps cleaned up and see if uh I can get back down here and get some gear set. The ground's still really wet, but should dry out pretty quick if quit storming. Beautiful morning. Uh, the sun's just starting. Well, the sun ain't coming up yet, but the daylight's starting to crest. You can see behind me here, this big reservoir I'm sitting up on. Um, right down below me, there's a road, and uh, wolves had come down it. And then back up this far corner up here, they'd crossed, and over on another ranch as well. So. So I'm gonna let it get a little more light. I'm tired. But uh let it get a little more light, then I'm gonna look around for some more sign and probably go back 
home, get some traps cleaned, and uh, come back down, get set in some gear. So, make some coffee. Get some coffee in me. Well, we didn't get anything called in last night. Didn't even get an answer, but. Um, boy, a beautiful morning out here. Oh, I'm gonna look around for some sign. See if I can find somewhere to set some gear. Cold, a little cold this morning, but that's okay. I don't mind the cold. I'd rather it be cold than too hot. Oh, well, a couple years ago. Um, he doesn't have his cows here yet, but he's going to be, I was sitting out here running the thermal and, uh, I was parked on the next road down and, uh, the cows kept getting attacked back here in this back corner and I was sitting out there running the thermal and two wolves came in on those cows. I ended up getting one of the wolves. I shot enough. I should have got both of them, but. Guy's got a beautiful, beautiful ranch down here. Um, I did find quite a bit of wolf sign last night. And um, ground's still a little wet to be setting, but I think I'll go home and uh, get some traps cleaned up and uh, come back down and set some gear. So here in Idaho, on private property, we can trap year-round, and I can run my thermal year-round on private property, so. Sure love hearing, hearing all the birds and everything. Uh, if there's fish rolling out here, I'll probably come down and camp for a couple weeks anyway. beautiful out here still snow on the mountains up behind me I don't know if you guys can see her up there oh. come out here and catch breakfast and hopefully catch a wolf and get a problem solved before it really starts happening this year we did lose some last year and I don't think they ever took a wolf out of here I think that would be the plan so flip you guys around here well if you guys can see that the cameras pick up there's an old track there um, about as high as they came. A little better one you gotta be able to see. Coming up to this fence line, but these aren't the tracks from yesterday. The other tracks are going back this way. That, that one's coming up here up by this corner. I just looked right up there and they're not going that way, so I'm assuming I haven't walked down here yet, but I'm thinking they must be crossing through here. There's a tree. Get my hand out of the way so I'll focus. There's a little cut by that tree there. Well, I'll show you this in the daylight and get a little better look. <clears throat> Flip you around here and show you these tracks. Two, two wolves there. And right down the road, there's old, there's old tracks. 
here too. There's an old one there. Come from out of here. Hopefully maybe we can get them caught. My phone all full, I'm having to delete a bunch of video. <laughs> so I can keep making videos. Delete videos and make videos. where they went right down the road well I was down here the other day I was looking at these wolf tracks um, done some calling never did get anything to answer me but I went home and grabbed some traps so we're gonna do some of that today set some gear I'm on a private ranch so in Idaho we can trap year-round on private property and uh, historically this guy has had one heck of a rough go with uh losing cattle um cows aren't here yet but they're seeing wolves already um there's a black one and a gray one and, uh for sure too but uh they're running up and down this road here behind me and this is all behind a locked gate and i can sit right on the roads is pretty handy I was just walking up and down here there's a coyote track here look around oh, coyote track there pretty fresh but uh you can spot one of those old tracks the wolf tracks here oh Right, punch a set right in here and then I'll put a couple more on down here towards this corner oh, hopefully I don't catch that coyote keep my pan tension tight enough I'm running some pretty big traps I gotta hopefully get these wolves caught before they bring cows in because then I'll have to swap traps again but this ground pretty clay so when it gets wet it gets pretty hard so I want them to be able to if I get a wolf to step on it I want it to go off that's the spot First set out of the old new trapping truck. The old new. <laughs> yeah. Get her punched in there. Well, I'm a trapper again. Oh, tied up to that little tree there. It's tracked. First set. Once that dries out, that'll look real good, I think. Some years ago, right on this knoll, chasing cows. There's two of them, I got one of them. I'll find a spot here. Wolf trapping, make good sets when they're traveling, where they're traveling. 
All you gotta do is get them to step on something that big. You know, a wolf heel. <laughs> that area that they run is amazing. So all you gotta do is get an animal that makes a living by its nose and uh, travels to all this country around here. Get them to step on something that big. So pick you a spot. Where I like to find where they're already stepping naturally. And then uh, I really like using dog turds. That's just dog turd and urine up there at that set. And I'm hoping I can set a tra trail camera right up here behind me. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up, but I'm going to show you this anyway. Um, you know the wolf tracks there those ones are pretty blatantly obvious but if you get looking real close there's old tracks here too going both ways so you can see the toe prints there i see that other trap step here you can see these wolf tracks here They're going back and forth, old ones, new ones. Oh, I think I'll hook up to this tree right here and then I can hook my trail camera to this tree right there. And the other traps up here, well, at least I'll be able to see when they come through and what have you. Tracks all old tracks, new tracks. Stepping all over through here. So, just gotta figure out what kind of set and I'll throw that drag up in this little tree here. I'll put the trap right there, right where that track is. And I'll put the drag up in this little tree here. I'll say that other trap's just down there. Pitter patter. There it is in all its glory. Second trap. There's a camera there on that tree. And it sends tacks. It's one of them tacticams. Through that branch down there just to keep kind of from coming from backside. But the tracks are right in line. Going right for it. Don't crap and urine. Once that dries out, that'll look real good. Looking around for more sign. This time of year, it's kind of funny what you find for sign. Be vigilant. Find all sorts of good stuff. Keep your eyes peeled. That's diversion. Well, I was out here looking for wolf sign and glassing. It's clear over there by this stand of trees. It's 487 yards. Badger coming out of his hole. Oh, Naive got to eat. Drag it out here. It's a my rifle's a 6.5 PRC. I'm hoping he's far enough. I didn't blow a big old hole in. We'll get him skinned out. They're a pretty little animal. Oh, 
pretty fur on them. Well, that was uh, first blood for that rifle. 487 yards, I'm happy with that. It was uh, nine and a half minutes is what I dialed. Zero to 100. Oh, badgers, they tear up the old farmer's ground and the irrigation and stuff, and they don't care much for them. You can see all these big old holes. Oh, they're on the hit list. Well, good morning. Uh, those new Tacticam uh, trail cameras are pretty sweet, so they'll send you a text when you get something. Uh, take, takes a picture. Well, I had them set up on a wolf trap and got a text this morning. I'll plug in a couple pictures right here. So anyway, I'm heading down there. Got another big black wolf. The article that gal wrote about me made a big old stink about, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it came out in the New Yorker magazine. Uh, a gal got a hold of me, wanted to write an article, or was going to write an article, was going to use me in it. And I said, well, that's fine, I guess. Talked to her some. She did tell a lie. Said, I don't check my traps. And that's bullshit. I check my traps all the time. I've never been laid on a trap check. Not ever. Uh, what I told her is I, I normally check every 48 hours. Sometimes I go a little longer. Idaho, we got 72 hours. Um, she made it sound like I don't check my traps within the 72 hours. But pretty good article. You guys ought to look it up. It's in the New Yorker magazine. It was, they titled it weird. Uh, said it was killing wolves to own the libs. I'm not a liberal. I'm not a Republican, a Democrat. I believe right wing, left wing, it's all the same damn bird. So, anyway, I'm not a political man at all. But I'm going down to take care of this wolf and uh, I'll reset. I'll use parts off that wolf. If it's a male, I'll use the pecker tip and the butthole and stuff. I'll show that. Well, I'm down here on the ranch. I just met up with the rancher. He's up here ahead of me. We're gonna go get this wolf dispatched. Um, he notoriously has, every year, just huge, huge wolf troubles down here on his ranch. Um, I don't know how many cows he's lost. Lots, lots and lots. So, feels good to be able to help out this rancher. And um, go down here and take a look at this wolf, get him dispatched. All right, we're down here to the wolf. I get my pistol out of the bag. He's a big old bugger. That's a big old nice wolf right here. What size that guy? Smell him from here. <laughs> I'll get my pistol. There's a big wolf. I'm down here in the barn. I'll show you guys something here. So this is a livestock scale, certified every year, he said. So he's getting her zeroed out. We'll grab that black devil and see what we see what we got. I think he's, I'm gonna say in between 90 and 100 pounds. Put him in here. Yep. All right on, just lay him on the floor. Yep. Yeah. Grab him and throw him on there, see what we got. Gotta get my gloves on. These things are nasty. You don't want to touch them with bare hands. You can get them. They got cooties. All certified scale. 110 to 115. 110 to 115. Yeah. That's a pretty good sized wolf. Everybody, I see it all the time. Well, that must be 200 pounds. Ah, a really big, a really big wolf. Idaho wolf, 115. 120 is a stomper. Oh, this is a good one. I'll get another shot of that. Very zeroed it out. Oh, yeah. yeah, what do you 
think that about 112, huh? Just under 115. Mm -hmm. oh, pretty good sized wolf. He ain't gonna be eating no more, no more calves or hens. I think I've been chasing that black devil for a couple of years. And uh, got him tagged. You guys don't think I'm down here poaching. Got him tagged. Oh, I ain't got a weight on him. He's a 112 pounds. He was in between 110 and 115, so I'm going to say 112. That was an official scale. Gets calibrated every year, so that's a pretty good sized wolf. I'm there. Uh, I'm going to hang him up in this tree. Get him skinned out. A friend of mine wants him, so he can have him. Anyway, everyone will get caught with the pants down. I'm up here. I caught him just down here, so as his girlfriend starts talking, I got my rifle ready. Which I doubt she'll talk. But I'm going to take, so there's glands in a wolf here in the hind legs, then uh, the anus, the vent. And the pecker tips and uh, underneath the pads of the feet there's a uh, scent glands so I'm gonna pull those out and I'm gonna reset I actually come back in found another wolf track I believe it's the female so I'll sit there I'll reset down here as well and see if we can get her caught caught him on just dog crap and urine and uh, I more than likely will catch the female if I catch her on parts off of him so that's what we're gonna do beautiful day happy mother's day to all your mothers out there of course it'll be after mother's day when i put this out but that's what date it is today so. 112 pounds i guess i'm weak <laughs> i might have to grab a couple ratchet straps so i can get them up high enough to actually get them skinned out <laughs> get something to get him off the ground so yeah big old dog big wolf you guys can tell how big that animal is but I'm a pretty big guy. I'm 250, just under six foot. I'm 5'11. Oh. Hmm. Getting skinned out.